this is Jesus Manuel Menegar. I hope you're having a fantastic day. In this video, I'm going to be doing a comparison of two Flagstaff uh, products. And of course, there are Rockwood uh, comparables. First of all, I'm going to be talking about the 25 FBLS, a very nice uh, travel trailer that's uh, about 5,300 pounds approximately. Has dual axles, uh, independent, somewhat independent suspension, the, the Torflex suspension, and has a lot of nice options. I'm going to talk about the two, three things that I like about this model, and I'm going to compare it to like the 21 FBRS. Okay. So first of all, why do I like the FBLS? First of all, <laughs> I like these chairs. These chairs are solidly built, these two, you know, easy chairs. My wife can sit over there, I can sit over here, and the TV's right in front of us. That's a big selling point. A lot of folks that buy $30,000, $50,000 travel trailers insist on having easy chairs to have, a, you know, a nice evening at the campsite or at the resort or just boondocking, okay? Because there are times when, you know, you can't go outside because it's raining, it's just dark, and uh, you just don't want to go outside, you want to sit inside, you want to relax, and if you have a satellite television, what could be better? What could be better than sitting inside, watching the news, watching the sports, watching your favorite show, or putting in a DVD and watching a movie or just listening to music? My wife, typically, when we're at home, she sits in her easy chair, she's knitting, or reading or just watching the show with me even though she's watching the show she still can knit and she still can do other things and having some snacks of course so that's one of the big 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 selling points of this 25 FBLS let me show you another one another thing I really really like about the FBLS the 25 FBLS is that it has this little tiny slide out on twin tech supports and you have one two three storage areas right here and then you have a closet right here so you get some extra storage a lot of uh, travel trailers out there they don't have as much storage as this 25 F BLS definitely a bonus and of course you have a separate bedroom right here so you have your easy chairs over there your kitchen galley area over there and your restroom over there and right over here you can close the door you can have uh, you know, take a nice rest and of course you can put a TV if you want over there but you already have a good sized TV over there so you have a lot of options in this unit options that cater to couples I doubt uh, anybody would want to sleep on the uh, easy chairs but this is comfortable for two people and if history is correct and history uh, determines future behaviors it's going to just be my wife and I you know that's it historically when we go camping it's just the two of us we don't take any grandchildren along we don't take any of my children our days of taking the children camping you know we're long gone they're in their 40s so I do love this storage area here in the slide out the slide out over here has the uh, refrigerator and the two easy chairs and then you have this bedroom that's sequestered in the back storage here storage there storage there storage here plenty of uh, connections for USB and alternating current what do you think I already talked about the fantastic big screen TV of course it has a sound bar and you also get a very nice little heater, you know, slash fireplace, of course. The fireplace is just an illusion. Yeah, but there is a heater in there for those, you know, cool mornings where you need a little bit of heat. Of course, you need alternating current to supply that with energy. You have a couple boxes down there and some AC receptacles. And, of course, this is uh, in cabinet heating. But over here, you have some more storage. You have a clothes hanger up there. One, two, three, four spots where you can put uh, clothing, items, shoes, whatever you want. This is a very well organized uh, travel trailer. And of course you have your controls right here, including 
Wi-Fi Ranger. You can control your interior, porch, awning lights. Of course, you can turn on the Wi-Fi, the slides, the two slides, the awning, extend and retract. You can check your, uh, your levels for your water. You know, you turn on the water pump, check your black tank, and set it up. <laughs> I really like this unit, as you can very well tell. But what do you think? Do you like this unit? I think it's very nice. Let's go check out the other unit, the 21 FBRS, okay? Here are some of the specs you might be interested in. Of course, the uh, 25 FBLS and 2511S are significantly larger units. They have a hitch weight a capacity of 689 pounds, unloaded vehicle weight of 5,315 pounds, and uh, about three feet and a half uh, longer exterior length. And of course, the gray water capacity is twice the amount of the 21 FBRS and 2109 S at 60, 60 over 30. What do you think? So we're now in the 21 FBRS, a significantly smaller and lighter travel trailer. So you have options. You can get a bigger unit or a smaller unit. So the bigger unit is about 25 feet. I mean, actually it's closer to 26 feet and this one is closer to 22 feet, okay? That one weighs, the FBLS, weighs uh, about 5,300 pounds dry, okay? This one, about 4,200 pounds dry. So my truck can tow 7,000 pounds. If I loaded up the uh, FBLS uh, with about 600 pounds of stuff, I would be under 6,000 pounds. That should be doable, don't you think? This one, if I loaded about with about 500 pounds of stuff, because it doesn't have as much storage area, I could, uh, you know, it'd definitely be under uh, 5,000 pounds altogether. So 4,200 plus another 500 pounds, you know, that's not much, okay. So what's the benefit of the bigger one? I get those nice recliners. I get the amenities, okay? You get the amenities. And of course, amenities usually way more and cost more, okay? So uh, you can sit in front of the television and hang out there, and there's a big screen television. You got the little heater down here. It's very nice. This one, this is a jackknife sofa. It turns into a bed, and then you got this little uh, table here that you can use for to dine, to hang out, and uh, do your work if you have to do work, or just read a magazine or put your laptop up there. And then you got the bed right there, and of course you get extra storage. As compared to the uh, Murphy bed model, this the Murphy bed goes up like that and block, and you don't get that storage up there. Okay, but this has two levels of storage down there. You got drawers down there. You got a, another bunch of storage there, and then you got the bed on top. Plenty of storage on this unit. Okay. I forgot to mention on the FBLS that they have this gigantic pass-through storage. It's almost like a fifth wheel type of storage. It's a gigantic front storage. This one's, you know, good storage, very good storage outside. And, uh, but what do you think? What do you think of this unit? So that's the main comparison. This one is lighter and easier and more comfortable to tow. Uh, and of course you have Torflex suspension on both of them and that's a bonus. That's a big time bonus over leaf springs. If you have any questions about this unit, I would contact my local flag staff or Rockwood dealership. They would be more than happy to help you out. Or you could just call the manufacturer. They answer questions too. Or contact the folks here at Explore USA RV Super Center in Fort Worth, Texas. They are the nicest people in the world. Seriously. So from Fort Worth, Texas, this has been Jesus Manuel Menagarza. Gracias. Adios. Bye bye.